Back in 2006, the fragrance world was rocked by a fragrance that took grapefruit and orange and made it into a rotten fruit. Yup, we are talking about Terre de Hermes line here, guys. When I first smelled it, I did not like it. That rotten smelling orange, what I thought was rotten smelling orange, did not appeal to me and has now become one of my most loved lines and some of my most loved fragrances, even to the point to where one of these is my signature scent. Stay tuned. What is up, my friggin' people? Welcome back to my channel. Come on in, sit down, close the door, and relax because today we are talking about one of the divine lines. Terra de Hermes, guys. This is one of the most elegant fragrances for men that is gonna have you smelling good all year round. You can pick any one of these from this line and you're guaranteed a hit somewhere in here. If you're not used to fragrances, then the Terra de Hermes line may throw you off. But after wearing a lot of other mass appealing fragrances, I came back to the house of Hermes and got into Terra de Hermes in particular. And I actually just fell completely in love and I had to get every single one ever since then. So let's break this line down, guys. We're gonna go from the original, the OG, all the way to the newest release. We're not, I'm not gonna rank these at all. I'll leave that up to you guys. If you guys have this line, the entire line, or if you have one in particular that you really love, leave it down in the comments. I wanna know which one you guys think is the best out of this entire list. So first up, let's talk about the OG. In 2006, Jean-Claude Elena, the perfumer, shocked the world when he worked with Hermes and made this EDT featuring the note of flint. And this gave us the original, what we call rotting fruit or sour orange. How they combine grapefruit and orange in this fragrance had never been done before. And this one is the EDT. Now, once again, this features the note of flint in the heart. And this fragrance is not for beginners. In my opinion, it's not for beginners, but oh my goodness, I hated it. When I first got it, guys, I did not like this fragrance. You know, it was bright. It gave me the bright and citrusy that I was used to back in the day, but it just, it, it went so far off into niche land. I could not get my nose around it. So I left it alone and I came back years later. But the breakdown of this fragrance is like no other. So this one starts out, like I said, with the grapefruit and the orange. And in the heart, you're gonna get the pepper and the flint note. And in the base, there's vetiver, cedar, patchouli, and benzoin. And what that sums up to guys is just a citrusy, bright, year round signature scent worthy fragrance. That is nothing less than stellar. I have gotten a billion compliments off of Terra de Hermes. I will always, this is my second bottle, I will always have the EDT. Now these other flankers that are here are awesome. I love all of them, just a quick giveaway. I love all of them. But the OG, the EDT, I don't think this one will ever be discontinued. I hope it'll never be discontinued because this one is so good, guys. If you have not been introduced to the line yet, I recommend starting out with the OG, with the EDT. Get yourself a small bottle. You don't even need a sample. They are all pretty price friendly, pocketbook friendly. So you can actually get into this line for less than a hundred bucks per bottle. So I can wear this year round. I love this fragrance, guys. Now in 2009, Hermes said, hey, the EDT is taking the world by storm. Everybody is loving it at this point. It's been about three years, a little over three years. Jean-Claude Elena came up with a one-two punch. This time he made it into a thick, woody Chypre, a deeper oil concentration, a little bit more mature. And this one was the Pure Parfum Terre de Hermes. Now this one, guys, is so rich and elegant. To me, this is the most elegant one of them all. Ladies, if you're looking to get your man something for Christmas, that is gonna go with that season. If you're looking for a fragrance that is gonna go with the season that you're probably gonna love on his skin, look for the Pure Parfum. And you don't need that much. You can save a little tad of money, get the smaller one like I did. This thing will last forever, given the higher oil concentration. So the Pure Parfum Terre de Hermes is a great option for cooler weather. This one is gonna be more for fall and for winter. So I don't bring this one out normally until the weather gets cool, especially down here in Texas. This one can really get cloying because it is a Chypre. It has the benzoin down at the bottom, but it also features the oak moss, all right? So it has the citruses, the oak moss, and the benzoin, and it's a heavy oil, heavier oil concentration. This one can get cloying, but it is oh so good, y'all. A great idea because it goes a little bit more mature. So I would say for my fellas, that's probably 40, around 40 and up, you're probably gonna like the parfum. Now, now, the other ones, hey, I think that these are ageless and I think that they're also timeless. But for me, this pure parfum just smells so good. It smells so elegant. This is a suit. This is my man dressed up in a suit, all right? 
and you got your shades on, you're rocking, you a cool dude, you a cat zaddy, you know? That's Pure Parfum. This one opens up once again the same way. In the heart, you're only gonna have the flint. In the base, you're gonna get the benzoin, the oak moss, and some woody notes. You're left with a beautiful woody fragrance, guys, that I just can't get enough of. So if you got your nose on this one, guys, let me know down in the comments who's tried this one out and how much do you love it? Now in 2014, Jean-Claude Elena said, oh, y'all didn't recognize that I'm the master? I'm the man? Hey, then he came up with something totally, totally different. He freshened it up a little bit and he called this one the Old Trey Fresh or Old Trey Fresh, however you want to say Old Trey Fresh. But this one was an all new take on that bittery grapefruit and orange. This one made a very fresh, very watery, extremely, extremely mass appealing unlike the first two. So he took a different route. That one, two, now you got the third punch. You got the two piece and a biscuit. This one right here, guys, really comes through in the summertime. You're talking about a freshy. I think the Ultra Fresh is great. And guess what? Rumored to be discontinued. Now, I didn't check to see if that is really true, but a lot of people say that this has been discontinued. And if so, I'm about to vault mine. This is going in the vault right now. I got the vault right here. This was going in the vault. If this one has been discontinued, guys, I always want to have my bottle somewhere fresh. And I've had a lot of people put in the comment section when I ask people what's your fragrance of the day on Instagram and things like that, my stories. People, a lot of people have been reaching for the Ultra Fresh. So I don't know if it's discontinued, guys. I don't know if if you guys can let me know if it's discontinued. If you know, if you have a bottle, hey man, get a backup bottle if you can. I'm not sure where it is right now, but um, yeah. If they discontinued this one, to me, I think this was one of my guys favorite ones like out of all the guys that i talked to the ultra fresh seems to be very 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 popular amongst men amongst ladies the edt is extremely popular they tend to want their man to wear that now this one guys breaks down a little bit different up top you're going to get the watery note and orange but there's no grapefruit it just has that as orange it's just a watery orange all right it has some citruses in there but it is a watery kind of orangey kind of fruity open in there but it's extremely fresh with that watery note and in the heart it's only some geranium all right and in the base i'm getting cedar it's less patchouli but you're going to get a slightly woody slightly citrusy dry down on this one and that's all that matters but guys yeah this one is a very popular amongst the guys and ladies if you're once again if you're looking for a gift and it's summertime get this one if you can find it i heard that it's getting harder and harder to find or maybe you can't find it anymore i don't know but a very very nice release by john claude elena and i think this was his last one with hermes so he went out with the bang on the terry hermes line this one bangs it hits hard i hope they didn't discontinue it because guess you guys know that if they bring it back it's going to be really weird try to pet cemetery that thing they're going to bury it and bring it back and it'll never be the same so if you got your nose on this one if you know about ultra fresh put it down in the comments if you love it if you hate it either way if you've experienced this one let me know and let me know if it's discontinued too so i want to take a look too to see if it is but if so i am being very very sparing on my sprays on this one so very nice release the freshest of the whole bunch Ultra Fresh 2014. Now in 2018, Jean-Claude Elena passed the mic to Christine Nagel, the famed perfumer behind Jo Malone's Wood Sage and Sea Salt, and she put some Szechuan pepper in the game, guys, and came up with O Intense Vetiver. Now this fragrance, man, this has a cult following, guys. O Intense Vetiver is just one that I don't reach for often. I need to wear this more. This is probably my least worn but every time I wear it, it reminds me why I need to wear it more. It is extremely clean. When you hear the name Intense Vetiver, it, to me, yep, I'm getting vetiver, but with it being blended the way it is with the Szechuan pepper in the heart, it kind of has a different cover. It, it has a different layer on this vetiver and I can't get my mind around what's going on here. I do get vetiver, but it's not, as intense as you think it would be. It's not as concentrated as you think it would be. There are a lot of vetiver, several vetiver out there that are way more powerful and way more intense. But this one right here just blends it so well. And I love the way Christine Nagel, she does a lot of female perfumes, um, which I also like too. Um, but she does a wonderful job on this one. 2018 broke 
tough with this one. I think guys, um, leave it in the comments. If you guys have smelled this one and this is your favorite or you really like this one, leave it in the comments why you like it. I love this fragrance, man. And uh, I promised myself that this fall, this is probably gonna be on a lot of my list. When I make my top tens or top fives, guys, stay tuned. This is probably gonna be on there somewhere. A great year round fragrance. I think that it's not as versatile as the EDT because it just doesn't stand out to me as much as that bitter, uh, grapefruit and orange. This one has a different route. This one opens with the grapefruit, but she adds lemon and bergamot up top. In the heart, you're gonna get the old geranium that we knew from back in the day, but then she throws Szechuan pepper in there. And when it dries down on the base, you're gonna get vetiver, olibanum, patchouli, and amber wood. And what that amounts to is a woody, super fresh, clean fragrance. This is more like fresh out of the shower clean. Whereas the Ultra Fresh is more like a freshen up. That thing is more like you're spraying that on to freshen yourself up. This one right here is like the guy that just stepped out of the shower. A beautiful, almost soapy-like thing. I think if I were to get a very expensive hotel room, my soap would probably smell like O oh, Intense Vetiver out of all this entire line. Ladies, if you love the smell of that expensive soap, kind of like I always talk about Prada Amber Pour Homme, very expensive, mellow, smooth soap, this is what Intense Vetiver is gonna give you. Very well done and one of my favorites. All right, fast forward all the way to the year 2022 from 2018. And Christine Nagel says, you know what? Scratch all that stuff we did before. I'm getting rid of the grapefruit. I'm getting rid of the bergamot. I'm getting rid of the lemon. I'm bringing in Citron. And guess what? I'm changing the cap too. And I'm coming out with O Givre. Now this one, guys, once again, a cult following. She put this one in the freezer on y'all, okay? You can even tell by this frosted type bottle what you're gonna get when you spray this one on. This is one of the only fragrances, guys, that I have that when it is blazing hot, the performance just gets better as the temperatures climb, okay? This was my fragrance of the day today in Houston. It got up to 107 degrees, according to my dashboard, and the humidity had to been about 1,000, okay? and this fragrance just kept performing it didn't just keep performing it performed better and better and better this is so refreshing this is like drinking a big old glass of icy lemonade to me it's not the best smelling out of the group it just smells good and it performs under intense situations which will be high humidity and high heat this thing opens with the citron and then in the heart you're going to get juniper berries and teamer and then in the base she added some mineral notes, and then you get a little woodiness there too. But all in all, it's just refreshing. It gets slightly woody once it dries all the way down, but if you're looking for something that's gonna let you stand out this summer, guys, or any other summer, and just freshen you up and cool you down, it's like a fresh drink on vacation. It's Eau Givre. So guys, let me know. To all my Terra de Hermes fans out there, which one of these is you guys' favorite? Which one is your go-to? And guys, we are creeping up on 2,000 subscribers. I really appreciate all the love and support I've been getting here. Stay tuned for the $2,000 sub giveaway, all right? There's gonna be a bottle of fragrance that is going to go to the lucky commenter. Stay tuned for that video. It is going to be out right after we hit 2,000 subs. So turn on the notification bell, and if you're watching me and you haven't subscribed, I'm coming to get you. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button on your way out. And once again, I appreciate all the love you guys have been giving me. And until next time, keep smelling good.